All right, we're going to talk about uh, amortization. Amortization is the action or process of reducing um, of payment of debt with regular payments. Okay, so either pay, uh, uh, getting a loan or buying a house, uh, you're using amortization. So let's look at this example. Uh, Jane borrows $34,000 to buy some fancy new car. Okay, it's probably an electric car. Okay, the interest rate is 3.125% compounded monthly for a seven-year term. What is the monthly payment going to be? Okay, so um, n is the number of terms being uh, being done. So it's being it's happening for seven years and monthly. So we're going to have seven times 12 and 7 times 12 is going to give us 84, right? Okay. Now, our interest is um, 3.125. Okay. The present value is what the loan is. So the loan is... $34,000. PMT is what we're trying to figure out. What are the monthly payments? Okay. And we're going to, when it's time, we're going to hit alpha, enter to get that answer. Okay, uh, future value um, is going to be zero. After you've made all of your payments for seven years, uh, you're done with payments and everything. So um, you're going to be paying monthly, and it's compounded monthly, so it's going to be 12 and 12. Most of the time, these values here are 12, um, unless there's something unusual happening. Okay, so let's let's put this in and get our see what our loan payment's going to be. So uh, once again, we hit alpha, and then uh, one for finance, and then one for TV solver. Okay, so n is 84. The interest is 3.125. The present value I'm going to write $34,000. PMT, we don't know. Future value is zero. 12 and 12. Okay, so I'm going to go back to PMT and I'm going to hit alpha enter. And now I'm going to get that my payment is $34,000. $151.17. Okay, notice it's got a negative there. That means because you're paying money in order to get this much money. Okay, so, so uh, there we go. Let's do another one. Okay, you might want to hit pause to copy this down. Okay, so uh, your family wants to buy a, a condo and they want to borrow um, half a million dollars for this condo. You found that the bank, you found a bank that's going to charge 2.5% uh, uh, interest rate and it's compounded monthly. So what are the monthly payments going to be for um, this 30-year loan? Okay, so um, first of all, how many payments are we going to be making? So it's going to be for 30 years, right? And each year you're going to um, pay once a month. So 30 times 12, so that's going to give me 360. The interest rate um, is 2.5. Um, and the loan is half a million, right? Okay, 
We're trying to figure out the monthly payments, so we don't know this. So when we're all ready, we're going to hit alpha and enter, and that's going to give us this answer. Future value. Um, that's going to be zero. After you've made all of your payments, um, then you will be done making payments, the future value would be zero. So you're making payments monthly, it's compounded monthly, as I said before, mo majority of the time these values here are going to be 12 and 12. All right, let's enter the calculator and see what we get. Okay, so 30 times 12, 360, um, interest rate uh, 2.5, half a million. We're going to try to figure that one out. Zero. Okay, so I'm here at PMT. I'm going to hit alpha enter and my monthly payments are going to be $1,975.60. So at this percent interest, um, my monthly payment For a condo that's half a million dollars is a little under two thousand bucks. Okay, that's seems reasonable. <clears throat> okay. All right. How much will I have uh, how much will I have paid after thirty years? Okay, so in order to figure that out, <clears throat> we're going to do, um, we're going to take this amount, $1,975.60, times 30 years, times 12 months, And then we get approximately seven hundred eleven thousand two sixteen. So this is how much you pay after thirty years. Okay, so um, so how much did we pay to the bank? So how much did we give the bank? We take this value. Minus, um, what did we get? We, our loan was for half a million. So subtract those two, and we get 211216 So this is what we paid the bank to borrow. half a million dollars. Okay, So you might say, wow, that's a lot of money to give to the bank. But if you didn't have half a million dollars to buy the condo, you kind of needed to pay um, something to do this. And the payments are fairly reasonable. So, okay, next. Last example. Okay, um, you want to buy a piece of property and you can only afford a $1,200 a month a mortgage payment um, and you've found a 30-year loan um, 
that's 3% interest. How big of a loan can you afford? Okay, so if you're doing 30 years, then you've got um, 30 times 12 months. Um, that's going to be 360 times you're going to make a payment. Uh, my interest rate is 3%. So I'm going to put a three there. Um, the this is what we're going to calculate because we don't know how big of a loan we can get. We're trying to figure out how much of a loan we can get. Okay, we know that we can afford um, twelve hundred a month. Okay. So we're going to put negative 1200, zero, zero, because that's what we're going to pay each month. Um, future value, after we've done paying, we're going to have zero. Um, it's, we're going to pay monthly, and it's going to compound monthly. Okay, so let's figure out um, how big a loan we can get. So I hit alpha, enter, enter, okay. So 360, it's already there. Um, I'm going to 3% interest, PV, we don't know. At PMT, we're going to put minus. Okay, so now I'm going to hit alpha and enter on PV. So enter. And I get 2846276. Seven, Okay. Okay, so this is how much money I can borrow if I'm giving the bank uh, $1,200 a month. Okay. So um, <clears throat> with a two-income household, you could afford a um, half a million dollar condo, uh, possibly. So, okay, let's look at the next one. How much money will you be paying the bank, um, paying the loan company? So, once again, we're going to take the um, our monthly payment of 1200 and you're paying it for 30 years, and um, there's 12 months in a year, so you're going to be paying, um, total you're going to pay $43,000. Okay, this is how much you're going to pay the bank. Okay, and then how much money did you pay in interest? So you take this value here, because this is how much you pay the bank, and you're going to subtract what um, you're going to get from paying that much. And so when you subtract it, you get 147373 paid in interest. Okay. And that is the end of my examples. Please watch the additional videos if you need other examples.